happy Sunday. Welcome to Coffee and a Card. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty and Paper Crafts and I go live every Sunday for, for Coffee and a Card where I make three projects using Stampin' Up! product. And today is fun on top of fun. We've got the cute little, um, this little piggy stamp set and the pigment sprinkles, two of my favorite things that are retiring. So I had to play with them before they went away. You guys are awesome. Let's go ahead and show you guys the projects we're gonna be making today. I had so much fun playing with these pigment sprinkles and these piggies. They're just a ton of fun. So again, the projects are gonna look backwards and I apologize for that. I did try to um, change the view and Facebook went crazy. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, so here is our projects. We're using the um, this little piggy stamp set. I'm also throwing in some of the Crafting Forever and the pigment sprinkles and the COVID-19 give back. So if you guys checked out the COVID-19 give back, the PDF, it comes with a ton of pages of super fun COVID related um, quotes and things for cards. I used it on my Bunko. Um, I also am using it on today's project. So you're going to love this. I did put a link on the project sheet to the COVID-19 give back. You can always um, go and sign up for that. It's 12 bucks for that huge PDF and you can use it over and over and over and print it as many times as you want. And it's just awesome. Okay, so this first piggy, he's dancing with scissors, which I know is super dangerous. Yes, exactly, Janie, pig mints. That's why I combined pigments and piggies. So this first one, our little piggies dancing with scissors and it says, we are cut out to be friends, which is absolutely perfect. I just needed a fun little lift me up card for um, my friends and I think this is gonna be a great card to send. And I love that the pigment sprinkles just add this really bright, fun background, okay? Then we have our little piggy rolling in the COVID-19 mud. <laughs> this is colorful mud using pigment sprinkles. I thought this was very creative. And the sentiment says, do something creative every day. Well, our piggy, he's doing something creative. He's rolling in the COVID mud <laughs> and the pigment sprinkles and spreading color, which I thought was super cute. And inside, I used one of those COVID-19 sentiments that says, spread joy, not germs. Because, you know, it may look like he's getting dirty and germy, but he's not spreading any germs. He's spreading joy because he's so happy in that little pigment mud. How cute is that? I love the little splatters that this does. So that's really fun with pigment sprinkles. You can create these little splatters. So I will show you how to do that. And then this last one, I absolutely love the sentiment, this little piggy. And I wanted to use it to um, go with one of the COVID-19 um, sentiments. So it says, this little piggy says, there's no place like home for now, which I think is so cute. So of course I had to make a little pig pen with the all wired up um, stamp, I embossed that, and then I created a little house for our little piggy. So he is safely staying home today, um, but he's so dang cute. I can't wait to show you guys this fun card, okay? So we're gonna get messy, um, but we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get little little piggy, piggy pigments. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the scissors card first, just because it's so fun. You really don't need a lot of supplies for this card. Um, so I'm gonna put this one here in the corner where it's safe and won't get pigment sprinkles everywhere. So I have a piece of basic black. This is gonna be the base of the card. I love using black with pigment sprinkles because it's so um, colorful. Okay, it's really bothering me that these are backwards. So I'm gonna try this again. See, look, look at the crazy color it does when I hit the screen to mirror it. It's so weird. Okay, I'm not gonna do it anymore. Sorry, my, my apologies. Okay, <laughs> see, I don't understand why I did that. All right, anyways, so back to the projects at hand. Whew, I'm like a squirrel today. Um, the basic black base, I love using black with those bright pigment sprinkle colors. They do a great job of uh, making things pop, okay? And then I have a piece of Whisper White that is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. This is going to have our sentiments down the side. And then I have another piece of, uh, sh this is shimmery white, Whisper White cardstock. And the reason I'm using shimmery is he is, is that um, this cardstock is great for watercolor. It's very durable, it doesn't peel up, 
and it's sparkly. It has a nice little sparkle to it, not a ton. It's not glitter paper, but it has a little shimmer to it and it's fabulous for pigment sprinkles. It makes everything bright and vibrant. So we're gonna be using that today as our watercolor paper. Okay, now I cut this one down to four and a quarter by five and a, four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tear, tear down about an inch to an inch and a half of the cardstock because we need to be able to stamp the sentiment and still be able to see it on the side here. Okay, now that sentiment is from the Crafting Forever and it's we are cut out to be friends. Now this stamp set when I got it was not cling. So what I did was I cut out some of the remaining cling from my new cling stamps and stuck it down on there so that it is now sticky. I haven't done it to all of them, um, but I need to. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is stamp this in four different colors. We are going to stamp it in, I always grab pineapple punch instead of daffodil delight. Daffodil delight, pumpkin pie, mango melody, and then basic black, okay? So the first one, Daffodil Delight, up at the top. So we'll just ink that up real well. And stamp. Okay, and then pumpkin pie. Let's go ahead and get a baby wipe and just clean the stamp in between. Pumpkin pie time. And the colors that I chose were because they are in the pigment sprinkles themselves. Today I am right handed, you're right. Okay, it's very strange to me to see it backwards. Okay, and then Mango Melody for the end. Like so. And then one more in basic black down at the bottom. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Memento because we're gonna color with blend. So we might as well just use all Memento. Okay. One more time down here. All right. So now we've got these four fun colors going down the card. Again. I apologize that it's backwards today. Oh, we just gotta roll with the punches, don't we? All right, so this piece is done and we can actually glue it down to our card base. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna move it out of the way because when we use pigment sprinkles, oh boy, does it get messy. So we just need to keep everything steering clear of it because those little crystals get everywhere. Especially when we use spray to spray the pigment sprinkles, it kind of sends them flying even more. So we kind of want to get all this stuff done first. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get messy with these pigment sprinkles real quick. I've got a lot of paper towels. We are going to need a lot of paper towels. And all I'm going to do is use my Stampin' Spritzer here. And I'm going to pre-wet the paper. You can already see some crystals that were naughty and got on the paper before we were even ready. <laughs> to paint with them. The two colors I used were um, Melon Mambo and there's this little cap here but mine always seem to pop up and you just need a little tap. Not a lot. A little goes a long way. Okay. Put some in that corner. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do Mango Melody and I might even throw in some yellow depending on how we do here. So this is Daffodil Delight. Okay. Now, you can see that not all the crystals have been activated, so we are going to take our spritzer again and just activate those piles of crystals. The more water you add, the more crazy it gets. The less water you add, the more white shows through and the more little freckles you get. So this one, I used a ton of water and I actually don't like, I actually prefer more speckles in my color than this, but you can always add more. So if I think that there's too much white showing, I can add more color and more water 
which I am just taking a little water bottle I have here of water and filling up my spritzer again. With pigment sprinkles, you need two tools. You need, well, water first off, but you need a stamp and spritzer and you need an aqua painter. Those are the two watering, watercolor tools that um, allow for us to have fun with these pigment sprinkles. And they're really great ways to just spread color on projects. So you can also tilt your paper and have the color run in different directions to spread the color. You can do that. Okay, I kind of like this combination that I have here, so I'm actually gonna be done with it. And I'm just gonna heat dry it real fast. <clears throat> you can dry it with a heat gun or you can let it sit and dry overnight. Um, or not overnight, it'll only take a few hours to dry, but I don't have a few hours, so I'm just gonna heat it real quick. Okay, now here's one of the things about pigment sprinkles. Now you can look at this one and you can look at this one and you can say they are completely different. And that's the thing about pigment sprinkles is every time you play with them, it's going to be different because you can't control the sprinkles, right? So this one, I had a lot of water, I had a lot of pigments, um, so I, I needed a lot of water. This one, I actually was able to control my pigments a little bit more, and so I used less water and I got a different look. So every time you do this, it's going to be different. You just have to be okay with that fact. So we're gonna set this aside while we stamp and color our piggy and our scissors. So I wanna point out, so the pig I'm using is actually this pig that has the sentiment and the flowers and the grass. It's all one stamp. I did surgery, if you can see, I did surgery to my stamp and I cut off all those elements so that I just have the pig. Can you guys see that? I cut off all these pieces. Now I can still use them. I can put them anywhere I want, but I wanted this pig to be by himself. So I did a little surgery. I did a little surgery also to um, this little piggy. I cut off the sentiment. I cut this and separated it so that I didn't always have the words here with him. So I'll show you that as well, okay? So we're gonna put this on a block and we're gonna stamp with Memento. <laughs> you don't like my beheaded lion? Yeah, you know, unfortunate accident. We had to chop his head off. So I'm gonna stamp the little piggy. Okay, I've got my little piggy there. And I also need to stamp the scissors from the Crafting Forever. So I've got my scissors, put my scissors on a block, ink it up with Memento, and stamp my scissors. Okay. So for this pig, I'll show you guys the pig again so you can see. For this little piggy, I colored him with Flirty Flamingo. So I used my Flirty Flamingo blends. I gave him a base of light Flirty Flamingo. I'm just using the brush tip so that it's a little bit quicker. He's such a happy, cute little pig. I love this pig. Aren't you guys going to miss this piggy set? I'm so sad. Okay. Oh, forgot his little arm. All right. And then for this, I'm going to, this is the dark flirty flamingo and I'm going to shade. Okay. Shading under his ears. And under his chin. Okay. And then we're gonna go back over and we're gonna blend everything. Okay. All right. And then, of course, we gotta give him little rosy cheeks. So I'm just gonna give him a rosy cheek there. All right, so there's our pig. His hooves I did in light basic black. So just little black hooves. And then for the scissors, I did the handle in light basic black. So that just like our normal Stampin' Up! scissors. And then I did the scissors themselves 
in light basic gray, or not basic gray, um, light smoky slate. So whenever you need a metallic look, you can always use your light smoky slate. And then you can go over it with your Winka Stella pen and make it shiny like metal. Cool, right? Now we do have to fussy cut, which is your favorite F word. All right, so we've got those. Now those are cut out. Now I do need to cut out the center, which what I'm gonna do, did you guys know that our piercing mats are going away? Did you guys see that? Makes me so sad. Our piercing mats are going away. They're not in the new catalog but they're pretty handy for when you need to, you need a surface to stab. So what I do is I just puncture a hole and then I just kind of cut out the center. These piercing mats are great. Now the reason I, I have come to understand the reason they're getting rid of the piercing mats is because there's one that comes with the Stamparatus. It's the same material, so you can use that one for all your needs, so. There is something else if you own the Stamparatus, but the Stampin' Mats are only $5 right now until they go away. Um, so I might have to stock up. So almost done with the scissors, bear with me. We do have to do some fussy cutting. All right, scissors are cut. Now it's time to put our cute little project together here. So we have the base card and we have our pigment sprinkles and I took the um, basic black scalloped edged ribbon and, oh, that's a good idea, Janie. Janie says use a small punch. Good idea, like a little hole punch for the center of the scissors. Smart, smart, smart. That's why we're friends. Okay, I uh, just tied a little knot with this ribbon. I'm just going to trim the edges. Okay, so I've got my little my little ribbon wrapped around. Now I can glue this down. I'm gonna use tearing tape so that everything kind of stays down. When, I, when you've used water on paper, it really kind of warps the paper a little bit. And so um, tearing tape is a great solution to keeping that paper flat and glued down. So, got our tear and tape on there. We'll just peel the backing off. Fortunately, my nails have grown, finally. They were so short and stubby for so long. Long nails are great for picking back <laughs> tear and tape. Now, if you have fake nails though, you're SOL. You will need your take your pick tool. Okay, so we're just going to center this on the side here and glue this down. Cute, I love it. I love how the colors coordinate with the stamps. And then we're going to put our little piggies on with dimensionals. The piercing mats are gone. Ah, oh, the piercing mats are gone. <clears throat> well, just kidding on that. No more piercing mats. Sorry I showed them. <laughs> Pop goes the piggy. So I'm just gonna put my little piggy down here and I am going to trim some um, Stampin' Dimensionals down so they're super skinny so I can fit them on the scissors. Okay, just gonna put a couple Dimensionals. I just wanna pop it up and glue it down. Taking the backing off. So I want the scissors to be in the little piggy's hands so I just kind of got it on an angle. So it looks like the piggy's holding the scissors. Cute, right? So fun. Love these cute little piggies. And such a great pick-me-up card for a friend. I love this card. I can't wait to send it. Cannot wait to send it to a friend. Thank you guys so much for another fabulous week. Don't forget about all the goodies and things that I have um, this month if you have any questions. A lot of the things that I talked about today are on the PDF. Um, the the project sheet. So you can go print that off. It's on my blog. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that share button. Bye-bye.